Okay, so basically, before the Big Bang, things get a little tricky to explain. If you think of the Big Bang as just a super hot, super dense point in time, then our best guess is that there was something before that called inflation. Brian Cox said something pretty wild about what existed before this Big Bang thing, and it kind of freaked scientists out. The idea is that the universe was already there, but it was cold and empty, and then it started expanding super fast. Then, this expansion slowed down, stopped, and all the energy that was driving it got dumped into space, heated everything up, and made all the particles we're made of. That's what we call the Big Bang. Creepy, right? So, this whole theory has an extension called eternal inflation. Basically, inflation never really stops. It just slows down in certain areas. Imagine the universe stretching and stretching, and then slowing down. Each of those slow patches is basically another Big Bang and another universe like ours. So, you end up with this picture of an infinite number of Big Bangs all creating different universes. It's like an infinite fractal of universes. Now, even if you took all the energy out of the universe, it wouldn't really be empty. Right now, the universe is full of stuff. Matter, radiation, antimatter, all sorts of stuff. But even without all that, the universe would still create new energy. It's like the universe doesn't understand the idea of nothing. Even if you removed everything, the expansion of the universe would still make radiation. So, the Big Bang? Maybe it's not really the beginning. The universe never really gets to nothing. There's always something there. Even if you got rid of all the particles and energy, you'd still have empty space and quantum fields. And that space has a tiny bit of energy in it called zero-point energy. That's the closest we can get to nothing in our universe. You can't really make true nothingness. It's just not possible in our universe. So, something always has to exist for all we know, but why? That's a question science can't answer right now. And our universe is definitely not empty these days. We can see stars, gas, galaxies, and all sorts of radiation. And with better telescopes, we might find even more stuff like gravitational waves and dark matter. Everything we see is in a universe that's always changing. It's expanding, meaning the distance between things is getting bigger all the time. It's also getting colder as light stretches out. The universe was way hotter in the past, and it's going to get colder in the future. If you could somehow remove everything, you'd still have empty space, the laws of physics, and quantum fields. That's the closest you can get to true emptiness. To a physicist, getting rid of anything else would just be unrealistic. That would mean that dark energy would still be around, even in an empty universe. So, was there a universe before ours? Maybe. The lowest energy point of space has a zero-point energy, and with dark energy it will not be zero. Also way back, before the Big Bang, there was a time called cosmic inflation when the universe was expanding super fast. So, if this inflation thing is true and time is infinite, where did all this begin? Or did it? To really get this, we need to look at a few things. Asterisk the Big Bang. Asterisk cosmic inflation. Asterisk whether the universe had some beginning. Back in the early 1900s, some scientists figured out some crucial stuff together. Asterisk Einstein's rules said that a universe with energy has to either expand or contract. Asterisk some scientists found this relationship that explains a star's inherent brightness over time. Asterisk other scientists observed that far away nebula and galaxies are moving away. These observations led to the idea that the universe is expanding. So, if the universe is expanding, that means that space is stretching out and things are getting less dense. Also, light stretches out, making the universe get colder. If you rewind time, things get denser and hotter. The idea of the Big Bang is that if you go back far enough, everything was crammed into a single point. Bizarre. With this Big Bang theory, some scientists made some rules. Asterisk the universe should be expanding. Asterisk the universe used to be uniform before forming into things, such as stars. Asterisk the universe was so hot that atoms couldn't form. Asterisk the universe was so hot that nuclei cannot form. Asterisk the universe must be so hot that neutrinos must be a big component. Since discovering the cosmic microwave background, Big Bang Theory has not been contested. The Big Bang Theory could not answer many challenges. Asterisk, why does the different areas of the universe have the same temperature if there was no communication between? 
asterisk expansion and gravity are nearly perfectly balanced, so why is the universe like that? Asterisk after the high temperature of the early stages, then why can't we see neutrino particles? To understand these issues, then scientists were looking for a way to demonstrate a mechanism. Alan Goose introduced a potential solution in 1980 based on early signs of a rapid and continuous expansion that uses not particles, but intrinsic space itself. All three of these areas have been solved with Goose's theory. Asterisk since the areas of the universe were so close that temperatures were balanced before early expansion. Asterisk inflation has expanded so much that the universe looks flat no matter that angle it may be. Asterisk expansion must prevent reaching high energy levels. Inflation theory was proven by both CMBB and large-scale universe layouts. Okay, so basically what happened before the Big Bang? You gotta be careful how you talk about it. If you're really specific and say the Big Bang was when the universe was super hot and dense, and we know it was because we can see that looking out at the sky, then our best idea of what came before is something called inflation. What was there before the Big Bang? Scientists have been scratching their heads about this forever, but it sounds like they might have figured it out. Brian Cox even said that something terrifying was around before the Big Bang. So, the theory is that the universe was just there, cold and empty, but expanding like crazy fast. Then, that expansion slowed down and stopped. All the energy that was making it expand just got dumped into space, heated everything up, and made all the stuff we're made of. That's what we call the Big Bang. So, what was before it and why is it scaring scientists? Let's check it out. This idea has something called eternal inflation tacked on, which says that inflation never really stops. It just slows down in little pockets. Think of the universe like it's stretching, stretching then it slows down and stops in small spots. Each of those spots is basically its Big Bang and its universe and ours is just one of them. So, you end up with this crazy picture of a never-ending universe with tons of Big Bangs, which is called the inflationary multiverse. It's hard to think about absolutely nothing existing in the universe. Even if you took all the energy out, it wouldn't be truly empty. Right now, the universe is full of matter, radiation, antimatter, and all sorts of stuff. It seems like the universe doesn't get the idea of being totally empty. If we got rid of all the energy, you'd think it would be totally still and have no particles. But that's not what happens. Even if it's empty, the universe would still be expanding and making radiation. The Big Bang might be a misunderstanding. The universe never actually gets to the point where it's empty. With all this, how could the universe have come from nothing? We can be sure that there's always something there. Even if you get rid of all the particles and stuff, empty space is still there. If you get away from everything, clear out any fields, and stop photons from getting in, there's still something there. Quantum fields stick around, and the rules of physics are still in force. There's always some energy, a tiny bit, even in empty space. That's the closest we can get to nothing in our universe. You might think you can imagine something even more nothing-like, but that's not real. You can't test it with science. So, we know that something always exists because true nothingness can't exist in our universe. But we still don't know why. Right now, our universe is far from empty. It's packed with stars, gas, dust, galaxies, and radiation. With better tools, we might find even more stuff that we think is out there, like gravitational waves or signals from dark matter. Everything we see is happening in a universe that's always changing. It's cool to try and understand how it all changes over really long amounts of time. The universe itself is expanding. That means if you pick two spots far apart, the distance between them would get bigger, and light would take longer to travel between them. The universe isn't just getting bigger. It's also getting colder. When it expands, light stretches out, loses energy, and gets cooler. The universe was hotter in the past and will get colder in the future. Things with mass and energy pull on each other, forming clusters and bigger structures. If you could somehow remove everything, matter, radiation, all the energy, what would be left? Just empty space. But it would still be expanding, following the laws of physics and full of quantum fields. That's the closest we can get to nothing. To a physicist, a totally empty universe wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be like the universe we live in. It suggests that dark energy would still be around even in a universe without any matter. Was there a universe before ours? 
if all the quantum fields were at their lowest energy, we'd get to the zero point energy of space, where you couldn't get any more energy out. If the universe has dark energy, it's likely that the zero point energy wouldn't really be zero. As the universe keeps expanding and cooling, radiation will become the main thing in it, and then dark energy will take over. But there was also a time in the past, before things cooled, when something other than matter and radiation was in charge. During cosmic inflation, the universe expanded really fast. The energy of inflation, like dark energy today, but way stronger and faster, controlled the cosmos. If eternal inflation is real, and time isn't infinite, where did the universe come from? There must have been a start, right? So, let's talk about three things that people mix up. The hot Big Bang, cosmic inflation, and the question of whether the universe had a beginning. Back in the early 1900s, some big discoveries came together. Alexander Friedman showed that a universe full of stuff had to be either expanding or contracting. Henrietta Leavitt figured out that the brightness of certain stars was related to how their brightness changed over time. Vesto Slipher saw that galaxies were moving away from us really fast. Edwin Hubble found similar stars to Leavitt's in other galaxies, figured out how far away they were, and confirmed that they were beyond our own. All of this led to the idea that the universe is expanding. If the universe expands, space stretches, and things get less dense. Light stretches out, too, which makes the universe cooler. If you went backward in time, everything would get denser and hotter. If you went back as far as physics allows, you'd get to a point where everything was in a single spot with infinite density and temperature. The initial idea of the Big Bang led to five expectations about the early universe, such as the universe should be expanding, it should have been pretty uniform at first, it was initially too hot for stable atoms to form, leading to the cosmic microwave background, Light elements like hydrogen and helium should have been created in the early universe, and neutrinos should have played a big role, which was recently confirmed. All this lines up with what we see today, so the Big Bang Theory has been the main explanation for the early universe since the 1960s. But as more evidence came in, some problems showed up that the Big Bang couldn't explain on its own. Some things we saw didn't fit with the idea of the universe starting from a crazy hot and dense state. Three main issues were Asterisk the horizon problem asterisk the universe has the same temperature and density everywhere but those areas are so far apart that they never had the chance to interact. Asterisk the flatness problem asterisk expansion and gravity are balanced just right in our universe, making space flat. Why? Asterisk the monopole problem asterisk if the universe was super hot early on, why don't we see exotic particles like monopoles?